Welcome, Dallas here. I want to briefly introduce the experiences of this course, such as the activities you will encounter, your participation expectations, and I'll provide general advice so you can efficiently learn and effectively navigate this course. As an overview, there are six aspects to be aware of in helping you successfully navigate this course. With each, we will go into detail soon. Speaking frankly, modern Drupal module development is comprehensive, integrating many technologies, industry practices, and design principles. As such, this course by necessity is broad in scope. Be assured that much care and thought has gone into the creation of this course. That's why we are highlighting these areas now. At the time of video recording, this course demonstrates Drupal Core version 9 specifically Drupal 9.0, installed with a composer-based workflow. Now, although your exact version of Drupal may be different, understand that if you are using a modern version of Drupal, that is Drupal 9 or Drupal 8, the concepts taught in this course will apply and are valid with the slight possible version differences pointed out to you. Frequently, videos come with additional external resources to help you further study the concepts at a time convenient for you. Some documentation may refer to Drupal 8. No, this is okay because the concepts within that resource are relevant. Every video is information dense. As such, here's a learning tip. Before you begin to watch any video, strive to ensure that as much as possible, you are in a distraction-free environment for at least 25 minutes. Personally, I like to apply the Pomodoro time management technique of focusing for a reasonable period with a short break afterwards. Doing so leverages the active and diffuse modes of learning. Because this is a project-based course, your learning potential is then amplified. Note that if you are within Acquia Academy, you have access to optional quizzes to help you review and recall the content of a unit. Get excited that this is a project-based learning journey structured within three units. In the first unit, you will learn foundational concepts such as the Symfony framework, Drupal coding standards, and any object-oriented programming techniques needed for module code. In the second unit, we will grow our knowledge by developing a basic module. And to conclude this course, we will develop a full-featured module leveraging the database abstraction layer, services, dependency injection, forms, and more. Awesome! As you can tell, the learning modality of this course is primarily video. A word of caution. With video learning, it is easy to fall into the illusion that you are learning by consuming these videos in a passive manner. Simply watching the videos without actually transferring the knowledge into your own work will minimize long-term learning. It's a mistake I have made in my own learning, which is why I'm highlighting it here. Project-based learning is ingrained within this course. We do expect you to actively participate. This brings us to the benefits of video-based learning. Firstly, you can pause and rewind the videos as many times as you need. For better engagement, I recommend you view the videos in full screen especially the videos which demonstrate how to develop code. In general, there are three styles of video you will encounter. First, there is video which uses slides to lay the conceptual framework. Then, there is video which demonstrates code activities. Again, you are expected to enter that code exactly into your own code editor. And thirdly, you will also encounter video which demonstrates site building activities to follow along with. In much of this course, we will experience talking through code line by line. You will need to enter that code into your own code editor so you can run it on your own Drupal site locally. Realize that all entered code should adhere to the Drupal coding standards, which we will learn in Unit 1. Practically speaking, the most important aspect to remember is to always use two spaces for indentation. For efficient debugging and troubleshooting, be sure to type the code into your editor exactly as shown. That way, 
you can compare your code to the code in the video. Lastly, understand that the project work is cascading, meaning future videos may rely on the work of past videos being completed. With the coding activities, even if you understand the topics being taught, be sure to do the work regardless, otherwise the project code may fail in the future. We will experience the code we develop in action. To do this, you must be running a local Drupal site. As we complete each piece of code, I will demonstrate exactly how to enable, build, and test the functionality we develop. This means to follow the site building steps as demonstrated. So, for example, when I flush the cache, you should also flush the cache. If I add a block, you need to add the block. If I create an article, you should also create the article, and so on. Keep in mind that due to your own interpretation and work, your project site may be slightly different to the site I demonstrate. Always keep your local site in a condition that you are able to follow along. Finally, please anticipate that this course at times may be frustrating. Learning is a process that results in a change in knowledge or behavior as a result of experience. So, in those moments of frustration, realize that learning opportunities are likely occurring. As a course designer, I have intentionally built this course as the course that I wish I had when I was learning Drupal. Follow the course in order and watch every video for maximum focused learning. I am confident that you will significantly level up your Drupal module development skills if you complete this course in earnest. Along the way, if you find the course valuable at any time, please share it with others who you think would also benefit from learning what you have learned. It may sound cliche, but sharing really is caring, especially with open source software. Finally, your feedback is welcome. Please reach out through the appropriate channels so we can address you. Fantastic. This completes the kickoff video. I applaud you for your initiative and I'm thrilled to be able to guide you. This is all for now. Happy learning.